If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Before entering new customers into your company file, you should ensure you have the customer defaults set the way you want to prevent entering repetitive data values for each new customer record you create. To access the default customer settings in the Customer Defaults window of Sage 50 Accounting, select Maintain, Default Information, Customers from the menu bar. The Customer Defaults window lets you set the values to appear by default for new customer records you create in Sage 50. Setting the most frequently assigned customer options here means you won't typically have to enter as much data as you would otherwise when creating new customer records in the future. To set the default customer terms and credit information, click the Terms and Credit tab. Then set the default standard terms for new customers by selecting an option in the Standard Terms section at the top of this tab. If needed for your selected option, then enter the default due date value into the net due in value days or due on the value next month field for the selected option that then appears to the right. The label and availability of this field changes depending on the term option you select. To set a default customer credit limit, enter it into the credit limit field. To set how Sage 50 handles transactions that place the customers over their credit limit by default, use the Credit Status dropdown. To set a default early customer payment discount date value, enter it into the Discount in Value Days field. To set the default early payment discount percentage, enter it into the Discount Percent field. To set the default income account used for customer sales, select it from the GL Sales Account dropdown. To set the default account used for customer discounts, use the Discount GL Account dropdown. To set a default cash account to use for received customer payments, check the Cash Account checkbox and then select the default cash account to use from the Cash Account dropdown. To set the default aging for customer invoices, click the Account Aging tab. Then choose which date to use for aging customer invoices by selecting an option button under the Age Invoices By section. To set the default customer invoice aging brackets, enter the number of days for the first three aging brackets in the Aging Category section, and Sage 50 then makes the final entry from the third entry. To create the default customer custom fields, Click the Custom Fields tab. To enable a new custom field for customers, check its enabled checkbox and then type its name under its adjacent Field Labels column to add that field to the customer records. To set the Customer Finance Charge defaults, click the Finance Charges tab. To charge Customer Finance Charges, check the Charge Finance Charges checkbox. Then specify your default customer finance charge information within the other fields in this section if desired. To set the default methods of customer payment, click the Pay Methods tab. Then enter up to 10 payment methods that you accept, starting with the Most Frequently Accepted, into the Payment Method column. To specify whether deposit ticket ID numbers are assigned in the Receive Money window in Receipts, or within the Select for Deposit window, select the desired option button in the Assign Deposit Ticket IDs section. To save your customer defaults when finished, click the OK button. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.